Hello everybody, and welcome. Today we are farming Bobekos. Fun little fact, they used to be called Yetis, but they are now called Bobeko. So if you ever see anything that references to Yetis or Yeti meat, Yeti fur, it means Bobeko. Okay, cool. Now then, this is the farm. It looks like this, and Bobeko are pretty easy going. We can breed them with just about anything. Uh, any vegetable, so carrots, potatoes, wheat, pretty easy. And from here we just spam, feed them all at the top, as usual. And they breed, and they pop out their little big-headed babies that fall on through. Like a saw. There is another one up there, of course, he will eventually fall through. Cool. Now then, if I just equip a carrot, he will, there we go, just lure him on through that way. Haha. <laughs> Anyway, um, so from here we obviously go ahead and kill them, like so, and uh, to be honest, this farm of all the farms, this one kind of depresses me. There is something about killing Bobekos and the sounds they make, and also they look a bit like Falcor, look at those eyes, from um, Never Ending Stories. So yeah, this, this farm of all the farms, this one depresses me. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So they... Uh, just kind of, we kill them down here, there's just a fence with a hole in, another fence to stop them from bouncing out of this farm, lag spike, and here we have some hoppers, you know, just going into a crate like so. Drop-wise, they give us bobeco meat, snowballs, the frosty fur, which you use for a saddle, and some ice. Now, you will probably want their meat to make either the pale soup, which if I pop myself into survival, like so. Gives us resistance 2, which isn't bad. Isn't bad at all. Resistance 2, that is 30% damage reduction. You get 15% damage reduction per resistance level. And more importantly, the Battle Burrito. Which gives us strength 4, so that should be 12 damage, I believe. 3 damage per level of strength, I think. Absorption 4, regeneration 2, and rejuvenation. Alrighty. Now let's get to the build of this farm. I'm unfortunately going to have to kill these guys because they are in the way. Oh, I hate that sound. Oh, it makes me sad. Right, so from here let's go... Well, let me first show you guys the build, I guess. Like so. The glass panes connect to these frost um, clowns I leave behind, which just give you slowness so they won't hurt you. But the base of this is basically four, like so. Four in this direction. So just like so. And basically if we were to build a little wall like this, this is where the glass panes were to go. So your floor, your about to start will look like this. Basically. Okay, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because you get the idea. Right, from there you just leave a gap here, starting from this side, so we clear out all of these. Every second block we leave. Like so. Okay, and then we clear out all of these and you put your glass panes on top here on this fourth Well layer, I guess fourth row of blocks Cool Now we need to lure them in here quickly. So I'm gonna add this here Like so and I need to build some stairs or something to get the uh, get them in here We can of course get these Bobekos. They are on crag mountains. I think it's called crag mountains, you know big blue craggy things and the glaciers stuff like that cool you can also um, you can lead them as well i believe unless they're too big let me check i had an issue the other day where a bigger one didn't want to be led so yeah see he's being led let's see the big one he's being led as well right so it could just have been a bug anyway so you can lead them um, on a mount and then kind of lift them away if you're on a mount like a rock and so on pretty easy so let's get some carrot or potatoes or whatever and then we just leave them up here nice and easy steady as she goes and this big guy might struggle right I'm gonna unequip this then give this guy a shove because he thinks he's too big but he's not go in I know your hitbox dimensions go in yeah so sometimes I just need a little bit of a help Go in, go in, go in, this looks very bad. Okay, 
Now let me just get some paints. No, stop it. Stop that. Let me see if I can place these paints with them doing what they're doing, which is trying to stop me. I'm gonna hit you. Go away. Go in. Cool. Success. Yay. And now we break these and it looks like so. Let me see if he's in here all the way. He is not. Let me just see if he bounces like that. He should be in here. Right. Hope he isn't going to die anytime soon. Go in. Okay. Now he's definitely in. Can you walk? Yes? No? Okay. Whatever. Feed. Feed. Yay. Forget all the... Uh, Pain and hardships, and yeah, baby time. Cool. And they have got massive heads, like you can see. And of course, the XP is get it, you know, through the fence gates like a saw. Cool. That is that farm, Bobeco farm. Just nice and manageable, you know, all the babies spraying through. Of course, always get variants because, you know, if you complete variants, they give you uh, double D drops and so on. So, yeah. That is. Yeah. That is that. That is the farm. That's how it looks. I sit here. I do outro here. Cool. Alrighty, there you go. Bob Echo Farm, guys. And as always, thank you guys for watching. This is Ergus saying happy RL crafting and have yourself a wonderful day. Cheers.